Well, I'm back on the old ball field the following night. It still looks like it's going to rain some more. And uh, just had my first target. Looks like it's some kind of 3.7 volt battery. So I'll carry on and see what else I can find. Well, just found my first coin of the day. It looks like it's a nickel. I'll keep looking. Hopefully I'll find something better. <clears throat> Next target was a dime. It's getting pretty windy out here. Well, I've been finding a lot of coins, and I just dug this out of the ground. It's giving off a dime signal. Pretty heavy. Alright, so I left the baseball field and decided to come over here to Groudon Park and try maybe try my scoop in this volleyball court. Only got about 15 or 20 more minutes that I can detect, so I'll try my scoop here and see what I find. Here I go. Look at that, first target. Brand new penny. I'll keep a look. Looks like I found my first dime. I already found about three or four pennies, so this is my biggest coin yet here at the volleyball court. The scoop works awesome on this dry sand. Another dime. Okay, got another target here. Oh, and it looks like I found yet another dime. That's cool. Maybe I'll find some quarters. Another penny. Okay, I got a crazy signal here. <laughs> Holy shit. What a coin. What a coin spill. I don't know if you can see all those coins in there. Let's see how many coins I got in one scoop. Okay, there's a quarter. A dime, a dime, a dime, a dime, a penny, a penny, another penny, another penny, another penny, and another penny. One scoop. Look at that. That's the best scoop of coins I've ever... What's that one? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve coins. One scoop. All right, there's more signals, so I'm gonna keep looking. Well, I'm back. Uh, I was here last night when it was real dark, and I basically just hit this first uh, side of the court here and got almost seventeen, eighteen dollars and change. Uh, so before I was leaving, I scanned the other side there, and there's all kinds of signals too. So rain last night, so the sand might be a little bit wet. But uh, let's see what else we can find. Well, first target. 
Nice shiny quarter. Well, second target. Nice shiny nickel. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but I think somebody just dumped their whole piggy bank in here. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that because I really don't believe anybody loses this much change. I'll keep looking though to see what I can find. Well, it looks like I'm going to walk out of here with a bunch more change because scoop after scoop I'm just finding quarters, dimes, nickels. Here I found two dimes and one scoop. So somebody's dumped money here for some reason. Hopefully it's for me to find. Okay, so I just did the half of this one and I've got this whole pouch about halfway full of change. And I just had another target. And it was finally something besides a coin. It looks like some kind of a turtle medallion of some kind off a necklace. Oh, and if I'm lucky, that'll be silver. If I'm lucky. Cool though, nice find. I have found a boatload of coins. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe somebody got mad and just dumped out somebody's piggy bank or something, but I found at least, oh my gosh, last night I counted $17, $18 and change. And that was just from being here an hour, hour and a half. Today I've only been here about an hour, hour and a half, and I've got about the same amount. So, uh, wow. All right, I'm going to keep looking. Hopefully I'll find something better. Hey, guys, this is everything I found when uh, I went out the other night. I went over to a baseball field for about an hour and a half, and this is all the junk I dug up. I found so many pull tabs and bottle caps, it's ridiculous. And then a bunch of other different chunks, metal, batteries. Uh, I found four dimes, two nickels, and five pennies. The oldest one was a 1967. And then I went over to the volleyball courts, and I don't know what's going on there, but it looks like somebody might have dumped out their piggy bank because within an hour to an hour and a half, I dug out all this. So there is 32 quarters, 70 dimes, about 24 nickels, and I didn't even count the pennies. They're in rows of 17, so 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. Quite a bit. Uh, and so anyways, it got really dark and was raining. So I came back this morning, and I found this much more. So I'm going to set all that out and uh, display it and we'll see how much we have total but as it stands right now 32 quarters 70 dimes and about 24 nickels and I'm just going to add to that number so let me set that up and I'll show you what I got yeah I forgot to mention that first uh, amount of coins that first night and the hour and a half I went last night I did find a 1910 weedy penny can't really see the back but 1910 I'll show a better picture of it at the end of the video okay guys so these were all the coins I found last night it was 32 quarters 70 dimes 24 nickels and 121 pennies so there was 247 coins I found last night so I went back this morning and that was an hour and a half so I came back this morning and uh, this is what I found today. And uh, this was on half a volleyball court. And this was on the other half. On this one I found 20 quarters, 45 dimes, 17 nickels, and 78 pennies. And then I also found this uh, 925 turtle pendant or whatever there. So it's pretty nice. Uh, so altogether, 
for about a three hour total I have 52 quarters 115 dimes 41 nickels and 199 pennies in three hours that's a total of 407 coins altogether uh, so anyways now I have to figure out how much uh, all that's worth alright I did the math out of 407 coins I had thirteen dollars and quarters uh, eleven and a half dollars in dimes two dollars and five cents in nickels and two dollars in pennies you add all those together and I had a total of twenty eight dollars and fifty five cents in three hours so that was a good three hours of hunting plus the silver turtle so anyways uh, wow what a a lot of coins to find on just uh, one volleyball court. I think somebody threw these out on purpose. Don't know why, but I can't imagine anybody having this much change in their pockets. Alright guys, uh, till next time, good luck, happy hunting. Just dropped by to see what the river looked like.